Hi, I'll show you how we can develop applications for the K64F Kinetis microcontroller of Rescale by using the IoT Cloud Platform of Yodivo. In this configuration, uh, we use a gateway to connect to the internet uh, through a mobile hotspot and uh, the microcontroller board is wired to the gateway. Uh, the Android phone now has notified the connection of the gateway and we are ready to start the microcontroller by pressing the, the restart button here. Uh, the software running on the microcontroller will uh, connect to the cloud server and when this is done, we'll, uh, we will get an indication uh, by the white LED here. So uh, now that we have uh, the hardware and the, the software set up ready, we can start the development of our application using the web-based environment of Yodivo that is called Cyan. I have already logged in with my credentials and I can see multiple groups of things paired with my account. One of them is my iPhone group of things, which means that uh, I can use uh, all the small sensors or functions of my iPhone, provided that I run uh, a mobile app from Udivo here. Uh, each one of those functions and sensors will show up as uh, things in the iPhone group. Uh, so I get things like a brightness sensor, the GPS module and the gyroscope of the phone, and many others which I can use in my IoT applications to control other things or services. Um, I have refreshed the screen now just to confirm that uh, the second group, which is the iPhone group, uh, is online. And uh, I can now use the, uh, the plugin of uh, this tool, which is called Device Manager, in order to get uh, a list of uh, the groups of things on the left. And, uh, uh, each of those groups contains a number of things, like the, the Kinetis group here, uh, which uh, includes already three things. One of them is the gyroscope, which I have already instantiated in the editor area. And uh, I, already, I, I also have a list of uh, uh, logic things. Uh, I drag and drop the toggle function and I connect the out of the gyroscope with uh, the toggle logic so I can uh, uh, toggle the state of the backlight of uh, the iPhone. I need to find the, the, the backlight thing in the iPhone's group. Here we are and uh, I can uh, drag and drop it in the editors area also and uh, now I have connected the output of the, top of the toggle function to the backlight and, and my graph is ready and uh, the only thing that remains is to save it and then uh, deploy it. So as you have seen in a few seconds we have created an IoT application uh, where one thing uh, can control uh, another thing even if those are miles away. Uh, so we are ready now to see how this works. We are just a few steps away, so I will turn uh, the phone to have the back side and uh, I will start moving the, the microcontroller board. Now I should see the light on, yes, uh, and uh, I will try a few more times just to make sure that it uh, works all the times uh, reliably um, with some delay due to the communication with the cloud server. So uh, this is the, the part of the demo that shows how the, the MCU can control uh, another uh, thing. And I will uh, uh, try now to make the, the opposite, which is to, to use one of the things of the iPhone to control the MCU. Uh, same, uh, same application, but with uh, the gyroscope of the phone this time, triggering the toggle function, a second uh, instantiation of the toggle function, in order to toggle the state of the LED that is mounted on the microcontroller's board. I have a multicolor LED mounted on the board, so I will use all the colors of uh, this LED to, uh, to, to see how the application is working. Uh, now the graph is ready again. You notice that it took me just a few seconds and uh, I just need to deploy it. So 
I'm ready soon. Uh, okay, uh, it has been deployed successfully, and uh, now I can uh, uh, take the, the phone. Uh, there is a, an indication on the screen showing when uh, motion is detected. Not yet. Let's see now. Yes, yes, motion is detected, and I can see now the 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 colors of the LED uh, lighting on. And uh, now the LED switches off, and I can try a few more times.